So assuming that you have solved it, let's start the discussion. Tauline. First thing is you have to know what Tauline is and I know that you know what Tauline is. Tauline is this methyl group sitting at the top of benzene ring. This is Tauline. So this is Tauline you are getting. Now this reagent is the reagent of wolf kishner reduction that you know. So wolf kishner reduction is giving you Tauline. Then C is what? C must be this benzaldehyde. In wolf kishner reduction what happens? Two hydrogen gets added and oxygen is removed. So benzaldehyde must be what C must be. And if you take benzaldehyde, wolf kishner reduction will yield you toluene. This we know. This we studied when we studied the reactions of carbonyl compounds. So this is C. No trouble in identifying C. Fine, so you note it down because of the because of the limited space. I'll later rub these compounds. So this is C, and C you are getting from B if you add SOCl2 onto B. Now, what does SOCl2 does? Now, if you haven't studied the chapter carbon, uh, carboxylic acids, then you may face a little bit of trouble. Uh, SOCl2, if you don't know, don't bother. I'll just quickly tell you what happens. When you take a carboxylic acid, this OH from the carboxylic acid is replaced by chlorine in SOCl2. So it's a chlorinating reagent. That's what SOCl2 does. The same goes with alcohol. Even if you take alcohol, then this SOCl2 will replace this OH from the alcohol to Cl. So this alcohol is going to turn into chloroalkane. And if you replace this OH from to Cl, then this Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, this, uh, this, 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 you're not getting from C. This, you're getting from E. Just a little correction. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Uh, that was a little bit of a mistake. So this toluene actually you are getting on adding hydrazine in basic medium to E and not to C. Fine? Fine. Rest of the problem remains, stands correct. So don't panic. It's just E instead of C. Fine? So this is not C, this is E. Fine? No problem. Alright. Okay. So if this is E, then we have, first we have to get a C. And then we'll talk about this SOCl2 thing. So first get C. S2PD where this palladium catalyst is poisoned with barium sulfate. This reaction is called Rosenman reduction. And this we studied when we studied the method of preparation of aldehyde. So you must be knowing this reaction, I suppose. So you will not have any trouble in identifying what C is. Because this is E. This is the aldehyde that you are getting. So you do Rosenman reduction on acyl chloride. So in, in that what happens, this chlorine is just replaced by hydrogen. So that's the reaction we have studied before. So this will be C. No problem in identifying this. Now if this is C, now let's talk about B. Now B I told you, uh, this SOCl2 replaces hydro hydroxy group by chlorine. So in C we are citing this chlorine. So before the reaction of SOCl2, there must have been a OH there in that position once upon a time. And when you reacted with SOCl2, then OH group went out, Cl came in. So instead of Cl, there must be a OH in B. Because on B, if you add SOCl2, SOCl2 will replace this OH by chlorine. So this is what B is. That's what SOCl2 does. We studied this reagent in the chapter of alcohol and we studied this in carboxylic acid as well if you remember. So this is B, no trouble in identifying B. You're getting B from A. So uh, uh, you, are you are carrying out hydration of something. This is a hydrating reagent. So this something is giving you this B, benzoic acid. Then what that something is, this is, this we have dealt many times before in various conversion problems. Cyanide on hydration gives you carboxylic acid. We studied this reaction in the method of preparation of carboxylic acid in the chapter carboxylic acid. 
so it won't be a problem trouble for you in identifying what a is instead of that acidic group you will have a cyano group you will have a cyanide here so it will be a benzonitrile or cyanobenzene whatever you call it so this is what a is fine a d c e let's go to d now uh, d which reaction courteous reaction is happening because d d where's d oh where's c c is acyl chloride courteous reaction takes place in acyl chloride when courteous reaction takes place this whole thing goes away in co2 gas and you have a amine group sitting now at the top of benzene ring so you'll have no trouble in identifying that d is aniline fine Oop. so d is aniline we got a b c d and e happy you want more don't you so you have to go to f so this is f this is e now you are adding a um, high ammonia on e and this reaction we studied in this chapter itself what will happen is ammonia will get added and then elimination of water will occur and then instead of aldehyde you will have a imine there will be a c double bond n so f would be this imine fine now you are carrying out hydrogenation so there will be nothing but addition of hydrogen So this is what G is. Now you could have got G from A directly if you have, would have added H. Here you have A and here you have G. Now you tell me what you have to add to get G from A. From this compound you can get this directly if you just add, if you just ca carry out hydrogenation reaction. If you just carry out hydrogenation reaction this will be reduced and you will get G. Fine. So you'll get benzylamine from this cyanobenzene. So that H should be what that should that H should be that H should be H2PD. Or if you like nickel, you can add nickel. Or if you have a liking for platinum, you can add platinum. No problem at all. So this is done. At, except for I and J. Okay, I and J. What is B? What is B? This is B. This is an acid. You're carrying out, adding ammonia to this, to that carboxylic acid, and then you're heating it. So, uh, which reaction this is? This reaction we have studied in the chapter of carboxylic acid. What happens is this is an acid. This is a base. There will be an acid base reaction. So, this will give H plus, that will take H plus. You will have something like this. Fine. So, you'll have a ammonium benzoate salt. When you, when you heat it, when you, when you heat, generally water molecules comes out of a bigger molecule. That's the experience you have from this course of organic chemistry that you know. And that's this, you know, even if you don't know by experience, you should be able to write the product what I is. And if you have studied the chapter carboxylic acid, you'll have no trouble at all in identifying that H2O comes out from here. When you remove H2O, H2 and O goes, what remains is NH2. So you get amide. 